We are now at the end of this lesson. Let's do a lab. In this lab you are going to automate setup of uh, the VSFTPD service. So write a playbook that meets the following requirements. And if necessary use Ansible doc for additional information if needed. You should be using Ansible doc all the time if you don't know what to do. First install start and enable the VSFTPD service on all the managed nodes. Then open the firewall D firewall to allow access to this service. Run the playbook and observe working of the playbook. And run the playbook one more time to verify uh, the item potency. It should still be working. Good luck. All right, let's create a solution for this lab. So I am creating lesson three dot uh, YAML. And we need to start with the three hyphens and then uh, the play header. So what are we going to do? Uh, install and run VS FTPD. Uh, we run it on host all and then uh, we specify the tasks. Task number one, name, uh, install the package. So definitely we need package and package needs to be VS FTPD. Uh, then, uh, oops, that's not good. Uh, I'm using package. Package is not the name of the package, it's the name of the module. So VS FTPD is uh, an argument to that module. So this is how I need to do it. Package name VS FTPD. Then we are going to use name run the service. And in order to do so, we use the service module. And in the service module, we use name VS FTPD uh, state uh, started, enabled, yes. Now this is something that you need to double check because uh, myself I'm always confused about the state and enabled and stuff like that. Easiest way to double check, go to Ansible doc and have a look at what you can see here. So we can see state, uh, here we have state started, here we have enabled, yes, so that is okay. State started, enabled, yes, is what it is. Uh, then we have the firewall, open firewall, and I am going to use firewall D, and I'm using name, uh, name, is that name? Again, I need to check this in my uh, documentation, Ansible doc. Uh, so in firewall D, we are not using name, we are using service. So we have permanent state and uh, immediate. So service, permanent state, immediate. Uh, so let's give it service uh, VS FTPD uh, state uh, and now I forgot which options to use. Uh, state enabled, permanent yes and immediate yes. And hey, do you see what's going wrong? Long live syntax highlighting. Decent editors have syntax highlighting. I forgot a colon. You know what? Let's just run it while forgetting the colon and see uh, how you really don't need to do any syntax checking to figure out if it's doing all right. So Ansible playbook on lesson3.yaml is telling me what? It's telling me, oh, we have a problem and the problem uh, seems to be here. As you can see, it's pretty accurate. So based on that information, we can easily identify that firewall D needs a column. And one more thing, I just changed my mind. Of course, we can write a playbook that will do this on Ubuntu and on Rocky as well. Uh, but at this stage in the course, it's not reasonable to expect uh, that you can already do that. So I'm skipping the Ubuntu part and we make this Rocky exclusively. So here we go again, we are running the playbook. Oh, one more thing, do we need facts? I don't need facts. Gather facts set to no, there we go. It will speed it up a little bit. Packages are not a part of the fact anyway. So uh, it will use yum to figure out if the package is installed, yes or no. Uh, and yum is using this cache and this cache is always slow and that's just the way how it is. Uh, you might want to consider optimizing yum and yum cache if you want to speed up that procedure.
But for now, we need to wait and sit it out and see what the result is going to be. So there we go, the package is installed. Right now it is running the service and once the service is uh, started, it should do the firewall and we should be good. And oh no, what do we get? We get an invalid service on the firewall. So what is happening? Yeah, VSFTP is not amongst existing services. Uh, let me do a quick check, firewall CMD, uh, dash dash get services is showing all the services that we have available and it's not VS FTP, it's FTP as you can see right here. So we need to run it again and we need to make that not the D and just FTP. So this should be doing it. Uh, let's go there again. So now we can see that the firewall is open and hey, if you want to do it again, run it one more time to verify the item potency. And there we go, as you can see, this is a nice and idempotent playbook. Mission accomplished.